Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanik, and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Heading into the weekend, today is Friday, the 7th of October, 2011. Here are today's top stories. Sitcom Free Agents is the second casualty of the new fall season canceled by NBC yesterday. The workplace comedy starring Hank Azaria delivered 3.3 million total viewers for its fourth episode on Wednesday night. Over at Fox, they've approved a comedy project co-created by Ethan Cohen and Joel Cohen, marking the brothers' first venture into television production. Fox gave the project titled Harvey Carbo a script with penalty about a prickly Los Angeles private investigator. Wednesday series launch of FX American Horror Story at 10 p.m. attracted 3.2 million total viewers, adding in the results from two other encores, FX delivered 5 million total viewers for the night. In other Fox news, they're ready to serve up a third season of its culinary competition series Master Chef, and it stars Chef Gordon Ramsay and other judges, restaurateur Joe Bastishnik and Chef Graham Elliott. In a statement on Thursday, ESPN said it was ending its relationship with country singer Hank Williams Jr. ESPN's action comes after Williams' remark about President Obama while speaking to Fox News, Fox and Friends, on Monday morning. Strike Back was renewed by Cinemax for a second season with 10 new episodes set to debut later next year. Strike Back currently airs on Fridays at 10 p.m. with the first season finale is scheduled for October 21st. And over at Lifetime, they've selected Deborah Tillman as host for Lifetime's new unscripted series, America's Super Nanny, and it's scheduled to premiere November 29th at 9 p.m. Now next Monday, Oprah Winfrey Network debuts The Rosie Show at 7, followed by Oprah's Life Class beginning at 8 p.m., and will simulcast the two shows' opening episodes across four other Discovery Communications networks. Aspiring supermodels are featured in E's new docuseries, Scouted, where viewers can follow the personal journeys of young women from the time they are discovered by local model scouts. Scouted premieres November 28th at 10 p.m. Zodiac writes, made a deal with Netflix to allow its subscribers to instantly watch the original UK and the US adaptation of the drama series Being Human. Netflix has the streaming rights to all four seasons of Being Human UK and the first and second seasons of Being Human US. And Discovery Channel and BBC are teaming on the series History of the World, set to premiere in 2013. The series will cover world history from 70,000 BC to 2011 AD, relating the most critical events in human civilization. Ernie Brown Jr., a.k.a. Turtle Man, stars in the new reality series on Animal Planet titled Call of the Wild Man, and it debuts November 6th at 10 p.m. The series follows Turtle Man as he captures wildlife barehanded accompanied by his dog, Lolly, and his favorite steel knife dubbed Thunder. Production has commenced this week in Montreal in the new scripted series Bullet in the Face for IFC. The comedy action thriller will premiere in summer of 2012. And another wedding-themed series makes its way to TLC as the network debuts The Brides of Beverly Hills with its U.S. premiere on October 28th with double episodes at 10 and 10.30 p.m. Now set inside the Beverly Hills bridal salon of Renee Strauss, the series follows Renee and her staff as they pamper and cater to over-the-top brides. Lifetime's Frost series conclusion of docuseries Dance Moms marked the series' most-watched episode with 1.8 million total viewers. Lifetime will additionally air a one-hour special Dance Moms' Most Outrageous Moments on October 12th at 10 p.m. And wrapping it up today, some wrap-up news from MIPCOM 2011. Base Productions acquired the rights to develop and produce a television series and other properties based on the Divorce Hotel format. The TV series will profile married couples as they check into a five-star hotel together and leave as divorcees all in one weekend. Hi, I'm John Cox, and it's official. From the first scene to the very last, FX's American Horror Story is the creepiest thing I've seen on TV ever. Starting with ginger twins who vandalize a house to a man who survived a horrible fire, everything about this show will give you goosebumps. Not only does this show push the limits of creepiness, the language that is used is usually reserved for R-rated movies. 
This is not a show for kids. A family moves from the East Coast to California to get a new start, and they get a great deal on an old Victorian house due to its past. Things get strange almost immediately. Quick flashes of disturbing images are a constant, and I think viewers will have as much fun talking about this show as they did about Lost. Connie Britton heads an excellent cast, and Jessica Lange is doing her best impression of Mommy Dearest, which adds a whole nother level of creepiness to the show. What exactly is going on? I don't know. But I'm sold on taking the ride. I just don't want to take it alone. It's a little too scary. I'm John Cox, and that's just my own opinion. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. And speaking of weekends, that's a wrap for this work week. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and more on ratings, some new classified ads, a few other bits and pieces that did not make it into this podcast, and remember to check out tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled Synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahanek. I'm going to have a good day, even if I make it myself. I'm going to have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm going to have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm going to have a good day. Hope you have a good day, too.